Okay, there's my 175 watt panels. There's eight of them there. And uh, I had these ones kicking around, these small 85 watt panels. And um, these 85 watt panels. And uh, I decided oh, I might as well hook them up. And uh, so that's what I did today. And uh, and there's uh, there's eight more 175 watt panels. And here's how we hook them up. We just put brackets on them, bolt them in good and tight, and then wire them in underneath there. Positive to negative, positive to negative, positive to negative. Four of them in series, and then four more in series. So we got two banks of them, and uh, they each each bank gives off 80 volts. And they go into that box there, and they go over to this other one here. And uh, I'll just show you that one here in a second. Okay, and. Here's the combiner box. That's where all the breakers are inside there, and uh, they come up there and go up into the into the box there. And uh, and I actually I put uh, four of those small panels uh, wired into the half of the combiner box into with those other eight big ones, and I put the other four of those small ones in. And I could in the combiner box into these eight big ones because I have uh, eight. Uh, oh, pardon me, I have uh, 80 amp. I have 80 amp flex max 80s, two of them that are controlling this. So there's still lots of room yet in those. Uh, there's still lots of room yet in those 80 watt panels, those 80 watt uh, flex max. And um, anyways, uh, it worked out good. It'll give me a little more power anyways. And I've got uh, eight more to put on yet. So I, I've, uh, but I'm going to leave them on their original mounts. And because uh, they're in groups of four already. And uh, with that group of four, uh, Two more groups of four. I'll probably put them on uh, a spare Flex Max 80 that I have. I don't think another. I don't think each of these uh, banks can hold any uh, another four each. Hard to say. Maybe they can. I'll have to do the math. Okay. Uh, it's a pretty nice day out here. There's no sun right now, so it makes it easy to work on the panels without getting electrocuted. And uh, we've got a couple bumblebees up there working good. And and that uh, 12G there from the Olson farm, or the Olson uh, Dairyland Wind uh, Farm uh, Manufacturing Company, whatever. It's just going fine. Made power all day. Didn't have to use my generator for the last couple of months now, even for... A little charge on the batteries so I'm really happy about that that's what the windmill does it it removes the it removes the need for having a to use your backup generator which is is the biggest cost of being totally off-grid and uh, yeah this is fun thanks for watching okay there's a group of four solar panels 85 watt uh, a piece and uh, and then I also have another group of four over here 85 watts a piece also okay this is actually where I've got uh, where I took the two I took two of them off of here and here uh, and put them over on those other panels so now I have a group of four here and I'm going to because I eliminated my 12 volt system, I rewired these ones here for uh, for my uh, MPPT 
system, which is 24 volt. And these four here, I will take them from uh, parallel wiring to series wiring. So they'll give me about 80 volts. And uh, that'll feed the FlexMax 80. And that other one there uh, will also give me 80 volts because I'll, uh, I'll go I'll make that one from parallel to uh, series also. And the wires already go inside, so it's going to be easy, just a matter of uh, switching the wires inside, and away I go. And then I'll have, so with this project done, I'll have 16 85 watt panels added to my 16 175 watt panels. And uh, that should give me uh, somewhere around 4.2 kilowatt. So that's getting there. And, uh, and the windmills, well, uh, those air X's, you basically get nothing off of them. <laughs> Enough to light a light bulb, maybe. And then uh, the big 12G up there, it, uh, it, it's been making no average all day. I would say an average of about three to 400 watts in around there. Sometimes down as low as 150. But yeah, say somewhere in there, but that's good because my total drain is only about uh, 400 watts continuous, I would say. So that, uh, that keeps up things really nice. But when I get another one of them up there, uh, then things will really be rocking and I'll have uh, plenty of wind power, as long as there's plenty of wind. <laughs> Alrighty, well thanks for watching.